Hello friends, today topic for the discussion is insulin biosynthesis. From where? From pancreas. From pancreas. So, to understand about insulin biosynthesis in detail, we should have a general idea about pancreas. So, pancreas is an anatomical organ where the actual synthesis of insulin happens or we can say it is the part of digestive system which is present here at upper left of abdomen behind the stomach okay so now let's draw the uh, structure of pancreas here i am showing you the pancreas in the diagram suppose this is the diagrammatic structure of pancreas okay so it can be divided into different region but now i am showing only head region and tail region head region is the major portion which also can be divided into head neck body and the tail region is the minor portion minor region the head region is also known as exocrine part of pancreas and the tail region is known as endocrine part of pancreas okay the exocrine part secretes pancreatic juice which helps in digestion and the endocrine part produce hormone and the insulin is one of them now the question is that what is here at tail region or endocrine part which is responsible for hormone production okay and they are the islet of langerhans the islet of langerhans are group of cells which are present here at tail region all right and they consist of around 1 to 2 percent of pancreas volume the islet of Langerhans contains five types of cells five types of cells they are alpha cell beta cell delta cell epsilon cell pancreatic polypeptide i repeat that the islet of Langerhans which are present here at tail region of pancreas contains five types of cells alpha cell beta cell delta cell epsilon and pancreatic polypeptide and the beta cell is the one which is responsible for insulin production beta cell is the one which produce insulin and along with insulin it also produce c peptide amylin and little amount of sometime pro insulin also okay and let's zoom this area to see the arrangement of these five types of cell within islet of langerhans so within islet of langerhans beta cells are present at center in the core core region and they are surrounded by alpha cell and in between them delta cell epsilon and pancreatic polypeptide are embedded okay now let's talk about insulin biosynthesis in detail which is from beta cells of pancreas all right To remember the steps of insulin biosynthesis, it is very important to know the three forms of insulin. They are 
प्री प्रो इंसुलिन एंड द प्रो इंसुलिन फाइनली मैच्योर्ड इंसुलिन प्लस सी पेप्टाइड ओके द प्री प्रो इंसुलिन कंसिस्ट ऑफ 109 अमीनो एसिड प्रो इंसुलिन कंटेन 86 अमीनो एसिड एंड इंसुलिन कंटेन 51 अमीनो एसिड फाइनली सी पेप्टाइड कंटेन 31 वन अमीनो एसिड हियर आई हैव रिटर्न सी पेप्टाइड बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग फाइनल सिंथेसिस इंसुलिन एंड सी पेप्टाइड गेट प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इक्वी मोलार कंसनट्रेशन दैट मीन्स इफ वन यूनिट ऑफ इंसुलिन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड वन सी पेप्टाइड इज ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस्ड इन आवर बॉडी ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सिंथेसिस इन डिटेल एज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट बीटा सेल्स आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंसुलिन द फॉलोइंग सेल ऑर्गेनिल्स इन बीटा सेल्स आर प्लेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंसुलिन एंड दे आर द फर्स्ट वन इज न्यूक्लियस ओके एंड द सेकेंड वन इज राइबोजोम फॉलोइड बाय इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड फाइनली गॉल्जी कॉम्प्लेक्स और एपराटस सो दिस फोर सेल ऑर्गेनिल्स इनसाइड द पेनक्रेटिक बीटा सेल प्रोड्यू प्लेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल टू सिंथेसाइज द इंसुलिन सो लेट्स बिगिन फ्रॉम न्यूक्लियस वॉट एपन हियर इज इन न्यूक्लियस द जीन रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इंसुलिन प्रोडक्शन इज प्रेजेंट ऑन शॉर्ट आर्म ऑफ क्रोमोजोम नंबर इलेवेन ओके सो फ्रॉम क्रोमोजोमल डीएनए सपोज दिस इज क्रोमोजोमल डीएनए एम आर एन ए गेट सिंथेसाइज एम आर एन ए इज प्रोड्यूस्ड दिस इज एम आर एन ए विच कैरी मैसेज फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंसुलिन राइट एंड दिस एम आर एन ए कम्स टू द साइटोसोल एंड फाइनली इट गोज टूवर्ड राइबोजोम कैरिंग मैसेज फॉर इंसुलिन प्रोडक्शन सो रोल ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस इज टू प्रोड्यूस द एम आर एन ए मैसेजर एम आर एन ए ओके विच कैरी मैसेज फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वट इंसुलिन राइट सो दिस मैसेजर आर एन ए नाउ कम्स टू द राइबोजोम तो सो द सेकेंड साइट इज राइबोजोम दिस इज द फर्स्ट साइट दिस इज सेकेंड साइट सेकेंड साइट इज राइबोजोम सपोज दिस इज राइबोजोम आई एम जस्ट सोइंग द डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके दिस इज राइबोजोम सो एम आर एन ए कम्स टू द राइबोजोम एम आर एन ए कम्स टू द राइबोजोम नाउ दिस राइबोजोम रीड्स द एम आर एन ए टू सिंथेसाइज द पोलीपेप्टाइड टू सिंथेसाइज द पोलीपेप्टाइड एंड दिस पोलीपेप्टाइड इज नोन एज प्री प्रो इंसुलिन प्री प्रो इंसुलिन All right, we know that ribosomes always synthesize the protein. Okay, so now here the protein is pre-proinsulin. This pre-proinsulin contain signal sequence at amino terminal region. This is signal sequence, and the pre-proinsulin contain all together 109 amino acid. All right, now. The function of signal sequence is to transport to carry the pre-pro insulin to the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, because the next step is in endoplasmic reticulum. I repeat that the function of signal sequence is to transport pre-pro insulin along with ribosome towards where endoplasmic reticulum. So the endoplasmic reticulum is the third side. here i am drawing the diagrammatic representation of endoplasmic reticulum suppose this is endoplasmic reticulum right this is endoplasmic reticulum so this signal sequence sequence now transport the pre proinsulin along with ribosome to the 
endoplasmic reticulum to the first to the surface of endoplasmic reticulum. So when multiple ribosome get attached to the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, it is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum. All right. In this way, by the help of single sequence, the pre-proinsulin now get transported to the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. This is the pre-proinsulin, pre-proinsulin containing signal sequence. Now inside lumen of endoplasmic reticulum, two things happen, all right, further processing happen. That is folding and cleavage, folding and cleavage, all right. So, first thing is folding, the pre-proinsulin undergoes folding process. The folding process is necessary because for the formation of disulfide bond between the chain, which is later needed to establish the structure of insulin. Okay? I repeat that the folding process is necessary for the formation of disulfide bond, which is later needed to establish the structure of insulin okay now the second thing what happened here is cleavage there is a special enzyme present in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum known as endopeptidase this endopeptidase will now cleave this signal sequence all right and give rise to the structure known as proinsulin pro insulin so in endoplasmic reticulum pre pro insulin get converted to the pro insulin and the pro insulin is 86 amino acid all right it contain all together 86 amino acid so this is the third side now coming to the final side golgi complex the pro insulin need to be transported to the golgi complex to give the mature insulin all right so, now here I am drawing the structure of Golgi complex, suppose this is Golgi complex. The pro-insulin now moves to the Golgi complex, here what happened? The bulging happens, formation of bud and there is formation of breeze between Golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum and finally pro-insulin get transported to the Golgi complex. Suppose this is pro-insulin, right? This is pro-insulin and two things happen at here at Golgi complex by the help of enzyme known as pro-hormone Convertage, pro hormone convertage, PC1 or 3, PC2. And there is another enzyme CPE, carboxypeptidase E. Okay? Two things happen, very important step here at Golgi complex by the catalytic activity of enzyme known as pro hormone convertage, PC1 or 3 and PC2. And the another enzyme is carboxypeptidase E. Okay? Let us see, this pro-insulin now get transported to the Golgi complex and now this pro-hormone converted enzyme will cleave this pro-insulin at two sides. Suppose PC1 cleave at this side and PC2 cleave at this side. It will cleave the pro-insulin at two different sides, alright, give rise to the this C shape structure plus this two chain and this C shape structure is C peptide because it is C in shape and this is the insulin containing A chain and B chain. All right. So, pro hormone convertase, pro hormone convertase cleave the pro insulin at two different sites giving rise to the C peptide and insulin. Now, the role of carboxypeptidase E is that it acts on insulin 
which was initially processed by pro hormone convertase to give the mature insulin in this way c peptide and uh, insulin now get packed inside the vesicle in golgi complex later on they can bud up and come out of golgi complex and known as secretory vesicle known as secretory vesicle finally under the stimulation by some physiological factors the insulin and c peptide can come in circulation by the process known as exocytosis all right so in a not cell i just want to recall you that for insulin biosynthesis we should remember four different sites the first one is nucleus from where mrna gets synthesized carrying message for insulin production to ribosome and the second site is ribosome where pre pro insulin gets synthesized containing 109 amino acid and the third site is the pro insulin oh sorry endoplasmic reticulum where pro insulin gets synthesized okay and the final site is golgi complex where mature insulin and c peptide gets synthesized in equimolar amount or we can say equimolar concentration and and finally upon the sudden uh, physiological stimulation they can come to circulation by process known as exocytosis thank you very much uh, for any queries you can comment in comment box